welcome to Five Questions with your Classical Educator. Today I have with me Joelle Reith Miller. Yes, wonderful. Um, Joelle has joined us with a classroom experience earlier this semester, which was wonderful. If you haven't seen that, go to our events page and you can see uh, Joelle in live in action as a teacher with her class. Um, Joelle will be going into her second year with Scole this fall. Um, so we just have loved having her. I really enjoyed that classroom experience. And so we want to have this opportunity uh, to get to know her a little bit better and for you uh, parents to get to know Joelle a little bit better. So we're just going to jump right in. Um, Joelle, well, who is your favorite author and why? Hmm, that's a tough one because I don't really have a favorite author. <laughs> um, to be totally honest, I was never really a big reader as a, as a student myself. Um, but home educating, um, I've done a lot more reading and um, so it tends to be whatever I'm reading out loud to the to the kids. So currently we're reading, reading the Penderwicks um, oh, series with yes. my youngest. Um, and yeah, Bert, is it Birdsall? Yeah, I can't, I, it totally slipped my mind as far as the author. But. That's okay. Yeah, no, I love the Penderwicks. Yeah, this is always a terrible question to ask educators because it's like, well, either there's 10,000 that are favorite or uh, it's been so long since you've read a book for yourself you don't even remember right. what that feels like <laughs> so exactly <laughs> but uh, that's wonderful I love the Penderwicks um so do you have that, that kind of answered that question I guess as far as the favorite book as well or do you have a it doesn't have to be literature do you have a favorite science or math book <laughs> I do have a favorite book though it's a more of a okay. childhood book um, okay so when I remember and I went to public school but I remember in kindergarten we um, read and acted out The Giving Tree oh, by Shel Silverstein. Yeah. And for some reason that has just always um, kind of been in the background of, <laughs> of my childhood, my growing up um, graduation. I've received a copy from Aww. graduating from high school. Um, and so it's just a, it's just a dear book. But I like yeah, to. I love Shel Silverstein. That's wonderful. Um, so what is your favorite educational quote? Do you have one? Actually, I should say. Well, <laughs> um, in preparing to teach with Scole, we were reading the liberal arts yes. um, tradition. And so I pulled one from there uh, because that's what's most familiar in my head at, the, <laughs> at this time. Um, so yes, again, it's the liberal arts tradition um, and it's actually from page seven, but um, they say the goal of education is not simply knowledge for knowledge sake. However, the goal of true education is for our knowledge of God, man and, and creation to come to full flower in wisdom and for this wisdom to help us better love and serve our neighbor. Oh, and, I love that. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, um, I guess the mantra that I kind of like, <laughs> like to keep in mind, um, especially now that I've entered the classical education world. Yes, I love that. Uh, that's such an excellent book too. I have, it keeps coming up. People uh, in all of my circles seem to be reading that book. You know, books kind of cycle through right. and that seems to be the popular one this year. So yes, uh, that's excellent. Be, Thank you. It's on my reread list. So <laughs> yes, I have a lot of those. I don't always get to them. Um, so what are some of your hobbies? Um, right now, can I say teaching? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> teaching, working and hobby. Um, just because uh, that's just kind of my world right now. Um, not even with Scole. There's um, some um, endeavors I have going on with our church community and, and all of that. So and my home, my own home education program. Um, so yeah, it's teachings, just everything at this point. But um, I recently learned, my daughter taught me how to crochet a couple years ago. So when I do have some time, I like to do to do that, to crochet. Um, and I also like, um, like landscape gardening, not so much vegetable gardening <laughs> because I don't see the fruits of that. Um, I don't quite have a green thumb, but I just love the, um, the pruning that comes with like the, you know, in the springtime, um, I live in Pennsylvania, so cleaning out the flower beds and watching the new life come up through the through the dirt and um, pruning things back so that they can take life again, you know. Um, so yeah, crocheting, gardening, um, teaching. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm the exact opposite. I like to vegetable garden because I can eat it. <laughs> so. 
okay, so tell us about uh, your classes that are coming up, but you have a summer class and then some fall classes. Yes, this summer I'll be offering um, what I called family math for a lack of better, <laughs> better name. Um, and the intent is for a parent or two um, to join their student um, and or siblings. Um, it's targeted for grades four through eight. So our upper, upper lower school, middle school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Upper lower school, that's oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the idea is just to uh, meet weekly and um, cover some different topic areas of mathematics um, with games and um, just fun things, fun, creative things that, um, although I do do some of that in my classroom, um, mm -hmm. On Mondays, we do a Monday Math Marvel, um, but yeah, so this is just outside of, of more, um, not so much computation skills mm -hmm. that you would expect, I guess, with a math class, but more of delving more into the wonder approach mm -hmm. and um, and the more broader sense of of math as a discipline. So okay, that yeah. sounds amazing. That is that is coming up this summer, and then um, in the fall, I will teach um, two sections of foundational math, which is grade six. Okay. Um, and two sections of fundamentals of math, which is grade seven. Okay, wonderful. So if you are interested in learning more about Joelle Reith Miller's classes, uh, go to Skole Academy and you can look under academics at summer and at the year long courses, or you can do it by topic and look under math. Thank you so much, Joelle, for joining us today. It was a pleasure getting to know you a little bit better. And uh, we look forward to interacting more in the future. Great. I'll see you Thanks, soon. Christine. Okay. Bye. Bye.